can't bet uh, you beat us. People, you've just got to get a mumby, and I can see how stupid it is. Hi guys, are you ready? We're on a new boat. <laughs> Why new boat? Because it's clean? It's never ever been this clean in its life. <laughs> Even when it's brand new. Wow, so much work to find places to put stuff and we yeah. hired a storage shed storage, yeah. to put half of our stuff. We're only going to have one guest today. Yeah, one guy couldn't get on a flight. He was turned back at the airport, some problem with his passport, so mm -hmm. one guest, but it's better than none guest, I guess. It's a nice, easy, gentle way to start this business. <laughs> <laughs> we have cushion. What else? Well, what about the swans? <laughs> I should make some things, you know. Yeah, it's sort of a weird swan. It's more like a snake. Lizard. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a lizard, I guess. And he even cleaned the workbench. I can't believe you can clean this workbench like this. Comes out well, doesn't it? Can you do this every every time? No. Because it's a workbench. Hey crew. Hi crew. We are uh, enjoying San Blas. We've had pretty good weather. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of rain last night, but mostly mostly half overcast, half sunny. So that's pretty good for wet season. Yeah. We got Big squalls. squall the other morning. Was that yesterday yeah. morning? 40 knots gust, um, over 30 for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we were in a precarious anchorage. Had two anchors out. Because it was a crowded anchorage, we put out a second anchor yeah. to keep us away from the boats. But we ended up going real close to the shoals. Yeah. Um, but we made it through. <laughs> there was a nice, there was a lovely big pirate ship that was on the beach. Yeah. I think they've pulled it, it off. But yeah, he was stuck on 
in the shallows, leaning over like that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we've got our guest on board at the moment, Bill. He's a cool guy. He's an ex-Marine mm -hmm. uh, and builds satellites now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> interesting dude. And um, he's over there on the he's beach. He's over there. Waiting for us. <laughs> so we just had lunch and we're going to jump in, swim around this little island and try and catch something to eat. Yeah. It's pretty fished out here. So the fish are lovely and pretty and coral's lovely, but nothing big enough to really eat. Yeah. But we'll do our best. So the guna has a big crab yeah, coming the, to us. It was a but big crab with hands like mine, but... Uh, yeah, we don't know how to cook it. <laughs> well, we don't have a pot on board big enough yeah. really. We could have barbecued, I guess. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can catch here something. Yeah, I'm we'll trying to get something. California. I'll see you in California. I'll get I'll get Thank you, thank you. Nice. Oh, yeah. I just need my shoes. Oh, so, what for? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, right. We need them. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, all right. Absolute pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, princess, it's been wonderful. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm serious. You guys are in LA. I got a bed for you. Yeah, cool, so, man. Cool. Yeah. Whew, if it's within like the next year. So. Yeah. Bye. All right, guys. Have a safe trip. Yep. I'll yeah, see you. Man. Try not to fall in the water now. We're gonna go drop in on someone. Maybe you guys know him. Let's see. So we've just turned up to the Hollandaise group here in San Blas. We haven't, we haven't been this end of it, we've been up the other end. But yeah, we've got a, uh, someone that's asked us to meet him here. In secret. I don't know why. Wonder what he's got in store. This is a Mola from Mola Lisa. <laughs> we got two of these. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty. <laughs> Permission to come aboard, sir? Come aboard, sir. <laughs> All right. Now that is a catamaran, people. None of the floating hotel pieces of rubbish that'll get you killed. <laughs> sad, 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 sad. sad. Hello. Oh my god, I can't believe we're looking at you now. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Where's my hat? Oh, oh my How god. How are you going? How you going? Blackie here, Blackie. It's true, I'm here, ready oh to do god. smoke fish. <laughs> Can you have a picture together? Yeah, I'm straight. Straight up. I'll like just that. screenshot it. Alright, alright. One, yeah. two, three, smile. 
can't bet uh, beat it. People, you've just got to get a mumble. And I can see how stupid it is. I mean, have you seen it get lifted out of the water? Yeah. And did you see any sag or any no, notice man. any difference in any of the stays or anything? Not at all. Man, no. in, the yard, solid. in the yard where it was built, yeah. when they need to raise it up a bit high, maybe they need to get under for a through mm. hull or whatever, they put a car jack under one bow. Mm. And just hold and the whole, lift the whole boat up, yeah. and then they put wood under here. Yeah, I don't know if people understand the safety aspects. Safety, safety, safety. Safest cat around. There is this one. Yeah, they're a good boat. Yeah. yeah. When I first saw these, there's so little on the internet, or before our well, channel. there's nothing. Before our channel, there was nothing, and I managed to find a photo of one, mm. and it was in Charter in Palau, and I, I contacted that. Hermit? No, I can't think of the guy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boat was called Tank Girl, okay. which is in Indonesia now. And I contacted that owner and I said, can you put me in touch with the builder, designer? And he did. And that's how I started getting in touch with Tim. And Tim says, oh, you're just coming out and look at him. You know, like, luckily I could <laughs> because I was, I was in Singapore at that point. And, uh, yeah, it was a real adventure just getting there and then physically seeing him for the first time. Factories in a mangrove, apparently, people. I was just blown. Mm. Wow, this is this is what I, everything I've been looking for mm. in a cat. The performance, daggers, strong, stiff, cheap. Mm. Cheap? Yeah. Cheap. This is a third of the cost of something. I know, and, and you actually had the whole thing built for you, yeah, basically. Yeah. You, you did bits and pieces here and there. Yeah, a little bit. That, it was I mean, it's a little bit more these days with the mm. crazy COVID world, mm. but... Um, but still, everything's gone up, yeah. so still proportionally, yeah. this is... Yeah, money uh, for what you've got in, in, in your bank account and for safety and for looks, this is the boat. It really is. Well, this is a, this is a sailor's cat. You know, there are very, very few yeah, sailor's exactly, cats. Exactly, exactly. They're all just charter cats. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we had a guest on uh, a month or so ago. He's getting, he's building one in, in a yard in Europe because he wants the CE certification. Ah, uh, German. Because apparently there's a couple Friends. of Polacks yeah. doing it. Is there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. South Africans as well. Yeah. I've hear, yeah. heard there's there's plans being sold all over the place. So. Yeah. So uh, and so it's a good thing you've had your channel because that's sort of opened it up. Yeah. So this this guy is, who's building one, he says. Uh, this was a good rule of thumb. You know, for a 48, 50 foot cat, he said, if it's under 10 ton, it's good. Mm. Anything is over 10 ton, rubbish. Mm. And that's about the, that's about the limit. Well, well and, and, and this one is actually the lightest for the length. You know, I was looking at the TS50 or the, the ORC50, mm. which is the full carbon mm. things, a couple million bucks. Mm. Um, Probably eight and a half. And it's uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half. There Light. you go. And this is, I think, 6.1? Six, six and a half empty. Yeah. Eight I, and a half. Well, on, on, on some some documentation, it doesn't matter. Six and a half. Doesn't matter. We, let's quibble over 400 kilos. But still, this is the place. This is the boat. It is. Simple. You can do everything. But beautiful. Fix elegant. Yourself, you know. I love it. I love it. So, I'm thinking, um, when I move in tomorrow morning... All right. I'll take that bedroom. I didn't think you were going home tonight. No. Well, that's was, actually that's right. Home. I mean, what's the point? Do you have a Do you have a gun that I can shoot my boat with whilst we're here? My boat's just down there. I don't. And, uh, uh, good point. Come on, Jane. <laughs> so usually, people when I do that, people go, "Ah, oh, but uh, 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 Jamie's like switched on, man. He's going, yeah, don't don't leave. Ah, oh, I need another beer. <laughs> uh, classic." <laughs> So where are we doing here? I brought over the kitchen sinks because, you know, everything. this, this boat, I don't know if it's got the quality of the kitchen sinks. I didn't check out. You bought your own here. sink. <laughs> this is the smoker, people. You know how much it cost me? Nothing. What? <laughs> well, would you, pay for, <laughs> yeah. would you pay for something like this? <laughs> Okay, so it's, okay. it's just two sinks. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just um, some hickory or chicory or whatever it's ah, called. Yeah. Some sawdust from South Africa. Mm -hmm. I forgot to get some palms from um, 
from uh, the, I'm going to grab that for a sec. And I think this one goes on first. Yeah, this one goes on first. It's not real hot, this one, is it? It's it doesn't really need that much heat. Yeah. And then this, you put them on trays, mm -hmm. and then it goes on top. Okay. But uh, this needs a little bit of work. Okay. Um, but anyway, are you going to start cooking now? Yeah. yeah. If, I don't know, how long does it take? Uh, this takes, well, depend, I would say maybe 30 minutes. Yeah. Look at these. Lucky cut. Uh, porgy, red, uh, well, dog, red snapper, snapper. dog snapper, and schoolmaster snapper. Wow. So see, you have a skill how to cook fish. We don't know this uh, stuff. Well, not really. I wouldn't say it's a skill. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting fish in two sinks. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how skillful that is, but you know, I try. Yeah. <laughs> well. Who's that? Michelle? No, Albert. Mel <laughs> I just introduced you. Oh, I just forgot the names. <laughs> Albert. Albert. Okay, and who's next? Melanie. No, no, Melanie's at the bottom. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Oh, you got a double deck. Yeah. Or triple deck. This is my favourite. This That's is the fancy. carcass. This is the best. Okay. But I'll, they'll put that on top. You don't want to... Now, this is a difficult one. This yeah. has to be balanced. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. But it does. Sometimes. It's a bit rolly now. Um... That should be alright. Mm -hmm. Just thinking. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh no! <laughs> what yeah? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. I, I do have to balance it. Okay. I hardly ever use the third level. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever, and that's probably the reason why. Do you want to put it on there? It won't be smoke, but I was going to say there's room there. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe we might do that. Mm -hmm. And we'll just leave that one. Is that okay if I just chuck it on like yeah. that? Hold Come on, balance. Oh. Don't try this at home, people. You could die. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really? Do we need to secure them? No, they're, they're actually dead princess, they're not going to escape. <laughs> Alright, the top's done. Okay, just go to the middle level, try not to top, and then put it in and twist it. Twist. Wow, that's actually... Hmm. Is it good? I, I think that might be done. Yeah. I wasn't no, expecting good. that. May I, not that I don't trust you. <laughs> this one's a bit... You don't trust my twist. This is a bit fatter. Usually it's a little darker. Look, we're gonna get even another five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. probably only need half a can. Well we can let that sit. Yeah. And and with the lid on. Here you go, people. It's complicated stuff. NASA actually came to see. They saw this mm. and they went. <laughs> they need that for the e ISS. Elon is is you know pushing us out of the market. We need your <laughs> expertise, Plucky. Because uh, we've seen these things. We've seen what you can do. What can you do for us? And we're talking. And this is what you come We're up with. talking at the moment. You know the contracts. Yeah, contracts goes on and on and on. But you know. So basically, soon you'll have like the space shuttle plucky on the side. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what you got there? Get your smoker. I, I bag the carcass. It's yours. All right. <laughs> wow. There you go. I'm First time we're gonna eat like this. How hot's that? A little bit. Okay, with spear fishing, you gotta find a fish and you point and shoot. Done. 
Yes. Lesson over. Let's eat. Can we go back to item number one? What, you find Buy fish? the fish. How do you well, do Well, you got to be a sneaky bastard. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you a sneaky bastard? I can be. I don't know. You, you seem like a very genuine, honest guy. Do you reckon if I Jamie seems with... genuine and honest? I think he is. You gotta be a sneaky bastard. Yeah. Mm. yeah well, with respect to fish. Anyway. <laughs> Do you want some yeah. drink juice? No, no. I've got um, I've got my, I've got some ginger ale like here. Oh. Baby. Okay. Okay. So there's gonna be a few bones in those. Uh, so beware. Okay. Hey crew. Hey crew. We're still in San Blas, enjoying a little bit of sunshine right now. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a little bit rare. We get a little bit here and there. So we're uh, anchored up here next to a boat called Freedom. Can you see it back there? Behind us. Not sure if you know sailing into Freedom. Plucky. Mm -hmm. Hello people. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's a bit of a legend. So we've been hanging out with him and uh, He's actually training me to be a man. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, I went spear fishing with him, and I've had a spear gun for three years, but I've really never used it. Uh, in fact, I couldn't work out how to load the thing. Uh, but yeah, he's a bit of a, a hunter, wow. excellent spear fisherman, so he sort of showed me how to do it. Mm -hmm. Got my first fishing! Yay! <laughs> did you catch? I did! Really? <laughs> Pretty early on. A trevally or a jack. <laughs> so we had a, and he got a huge fish. And um, yeah, we had a cook up on the beach last night. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Lots of food. Yeah, lots and lots of fish. <laughs> Say hi. This is our buffet table. That's our contribution. <laughs> well done. That's a good shot too. Wow. I killed it. You should take a picture. Yeah. Come on, Flaxter. Your people are counting on you. Randy, where you at? Still in the sandblast. <laughs> we hung out with Plucky there for a, a few days, but then we needed internet, so we had to come closer to the mainland, to one of the islands, to upload our vids. Yeah, went to a, a lovely group of islands called Cocos Banderos. Yeah. We stayed there for four days. Four or five, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. But gets crowded, and it's a tight yeah. little anchorage. And in fact, one guy. Well, it happened twice in four days, didn't it? Someone anchored too close to us. <laughs> and uh, like last night, it got stormy and this guy was swinging his sterns less than a boat length in front of Jupiter. And we had all the chain out that we could. We, we haven't got any more left. You know, we got a short chain still. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was so close to just starting to scream and yell and shine a torch in the cabin and tell him to get out of our way because we couldn't leave because our anchor chain was under him but then with a storm we swung 180 degrees and now we're swinging our transoms in his bow but daylight came and we were able to just go and we did seven o'clock this morning out of there <laughs> tired of other people anchoring too close I think the skippers, a lot of the skippers here are local or hired skippers. Yeah. And they just don't care. They got six or eight Americans on board and yeah, just a hired skipper and they have no clue what they're doing. They went and bought a ticket somewhere and yeah, don't know about preserving the safety of the boat. And what are we, what's happening next? We've got a charter next week. 
Yeah. A two-day charter with four people. Yeah. Only two days, so it should be okay. Yeah, it should Not be able tiring. To do that. Pretty immediately after that, we go to Colombia. Colombia. So we, we ended up buying flights from Panama City to Cartagena because uh, we found them cheap. It worked out a lot cheaper than taking Jupiter. So, um, mind you, we've still got to find a hotel yet. But, but first, before we go, we've got to go into some office in the city, Panama City, and pay the fine for our overstay. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that goes smoothly and then the next day we'll get on the flight. That's our plan. Hey Kirby. We, is this is the last time we're going to be in a sandblast. Yeah. Almost for sure. Uh, we may head back to Linton tomorrow or the next day. We are supposed to be on a charter right now. I'm not sure if you've seen in the news that there's protests, uh, the locals here. First of all, I think they're protesting gas prices. So the trucks and the taxis and everything stopped running and blockaded roads including the road out to here to San Blas. So we've had no veggies, no fruit and veggies come for the last two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Until today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, we got some. Just had, it's $40 worth there. Eh? Yeah, it's a little pricey. I know. But the road blockage also meant that our customers, our clients couldn't get here. So it was supposed to be two couples, uh, four people for two days. It would have been a great little bit of cash for us, but the road was closed, so they couldn't come. Cancel. So that's okay. Uh, <laughs> after our, what did we spend to get ready for charter? It was like two grand. And we've made $900. We're not very good business people. Anyway, plan is to head back to Linton and uh, get a pizza. And then we're going to go to Colombia, do our visa run. Yeah. yeah. But the weather's been pretty good until, you know, like it's the last four or five days been pretty clear. But today, just sort of was very hot, turned into a storm as it tends to do. And next, we, we going to be Colombia yet? No. Not quite. Well, maybe we'll be in the Panama City. We're going City. to be in Panama City because we've got to go pay the fine for <laughs> overstaying our visa here in Panama. Yeah. Hopefully that goes okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't end up in coming to you from jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we have to go to immigration and pay the fine here in Panama for overstaying, and then we have a flight. <laughs> <laughs>